going to set it for about 175. And we're going to turn the smoke up. We're going to dial the smoke up to 10. So we're making lamb chops this evening with a pan tomato sauce over some spaghetti. A little bougie for a short bus, but you know what? This is kind of how we roll. So we're gonna leave these guys sit for two to three hours while we uh, run to a bar and uh, make sure that we're well hydrated. And uh, when we come back, these guys are gonna be ready to go. We went to go to get drinks, and uh, we got some apps. We're back, and no, no, no. We got tapas and mixed drinks. We got tapas and mixed drinks, and holy cow, it is looking good. Come check this out. We've got our lemon pepper lamb chops right here, and man, they are looking great. We got one last step. We got to add some sides to it. We got to add a topping, and uh, we're gonna sear these bad boys in a skillet. So. Uh, Steve's grabbing the rest of our stuff. We're gonna be over here on the Camp Chef stove here in just a moment. Uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna let that roll, keep smoking, and uh, we're about ready to rock and roll. Our sous chef, Steve, has gotten us some butter, which will be so useful in this. So, our tomato pan sauce is starting to cook. This is starting to heat up, that's great. We're, gonna, we're just gonna make normal spaghetti, just like you'd always make spaghetti at home. This stuff here is tomatoes, garlic, and a little bit of beef bouillon, or beef stock. So, we're gonna get that going. Tellini's doesn't look like this. We're also going to just smash the backside of this with our spatula. Kind of get a lot of that pushed out of there. That's what you need. And that's the good stuff there. Holy mother look at that. Coming along really nice. Those guys are almost done. Honestly, I don't even know if they need a pan. We're going to finish them in the pan, but I don't even know if they need it. Those look so good. messed up, forgot the balsamic. We've already turned the cast iron skill off, but that's okay. I am about to open this balsamic up and we're still gonna drop this, watch. We're just scraping up some of this stuff on the bottom of it that you absolutely want. Dude, this is a one-way ticket to Flavortown right here. So we got spaghetti with tomato pan sauce that will go great with the lamb chops. We got the pan scrapings from the tomato pan sauce and from the lamb shanks sprung into the spaghetti. Well, that stuff looks great. We're gonna add just a little bit of lemon on the top of everything. And there it is, guys. The finished product, your lamb chops, ready to rock and roll. Adam just cooked up an incredible lamb chop here. Here, let me get you some spaghetti here. Yeah, we'll get, a, we'll get a little spaghetti. Our new friend Adam over here has joined us for dinner. He's staying yeah, at a campsite What's up? just down the road. And uh, so we've got a little spaghetti, and then we've got a little lamb chop. So let's uh, let's try this little thing. Okay, well here's for Adam. Ready to some Here we go. All right. Wow. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yep. Or just grab the whole thing. Break right it off. Oh. Oh my God. Adam, you outdid yourself. Basically. That's incredible. It well, tastes like there's exactly some lemon juice on here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a there great way to put it. Exactly some. <laughs> you gotta get a little carbs in us. Carbs helps you row. That's really good. Well, you should eat what more. is in this? You're gonna row a lot tomorrow. <laughs> it's almost like a crispy, like, <clears throat> like smoky. I don't know. Would oh, you like good. to give away the chef's secret for that? What is the chef secret? So all the spaghetti has the the drippings from the pan oh. off of searing the lamb in the spaghetti. That's the secret. Oh man! So the lamb is absolutely succulent. Just literally falls off the bone. I'm having trouble actually eating because I'm I'm just eating straight from the bone because we're savage out here. You got a nice little hint of lemon pepper to it, and you can really taste the lemon just like drizzled all over it. It really just helps define the whole flavor. And then you get to the pasta itself. You have this nice tomato mm. paste made on a, an iron skillet of all things, which just really just it helps the flavor just explode. And on top of that, Adam, after searing the lamb in the iron skillet, scrapes the bottom after pouring balsamic vinegar in there and drops the drippings into the, into the spaghetti noodles and just stirs it all up. So you get this nice crunchy flavor in there that just like, I mean, you take it, taste it, Take the nice little bite and it just explodes in your mouth and it's just it's amazing. Like I, I can't even <laughs> I, just, I can't even describe how good it is. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this little cooking episode. If you guys like this, these little one-off videos, uh, definitely let us know. Uh, we'd love to do more of them. I know they're a lot of fun. The food is really good and uh, we're just having a good time in, uh, out here in Montana in the short bus. So let us know what you think and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.